LaBrie was talking about Usher Monica dating. That was a lie. Yeah, I looked. I looked it up. Yeah, I finally. She but said he was like her brother. Yeah, which yeah. I don't believe that. What you mean? I don't know, girl. You know, them celebrities is like cesspools. They all sleep with each other. See, Monica, he got. I mean, uh, Usher got that little situation. He got to let the burn. Yeah, let it burn. Let it burn. <laughs> but Monica, she not. I don't think she here for it. You think she called him a brother because she really didn't want to be with someone who possibly allegedly has uh VD, SBD, SDI. I feel like she called him a brother because maybe he is like a brother to her. I mean, they've been working. They, you remember I told you about the song that they yeah. had together back in like the mid nineties. Uh huh. So maybe you know she done seen him grow up and how goofy he was back then, and she's like, no, I don't want to be involved with him. I don't think it has anything to do with the STI, STD. You don't think so? No. Uh uh-uh. uh. But that might have. I don't think she don't want to be with him because of that, but I think that that has like a little bit to do yeah. with like you my brother and you got <laughs> yeah. and you bring in like right uh, you got men and women coming yeah. out like because it was men and women saying hey he right. gave me this he gave me that you know it was yeah. a whole debacle with that one girl I don't even know what happened to her but she mm. like you know the big girl with the, the, the with the bra side. with the bra strap shot yeah, yeah. She, he was you know so. Maybe she was like, I don't want to be a part of that. Because right. Monica Maybe that was a nail private. in the nail in the coffin. Yeah, because she's a very private person. So I doubt if she want to be like involved in any of Usher's foolishness. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, which reminds me, my uh, we were sitting there doing the cookout. Well, this is after the the cookoff or whatever, mm-hmm. and my cousin was like, Dre. If there was a versus thing on Instagram, like what's been going on, if it was one between Monica and Brandy, which one do you mm. pick? And I was like, neither. I would miss Monica. the live. I miss it. Why? Yeah. And no, it wasn't that I don't like them. I'm just like, they're both like equal to me. So Man. what I about really this? don't care. I was kind of feeling that way about the the Erica Badu Jill Scott one that yeah, because you don't know good about. music. Yeah. Now, no, Erica no, Badu I and Jill Scott. The same way though about the nah. Erica Badu and Jill Scott. I feel like Erica Badu though will like blow her out, but like I don't want to say that. Uh, yeah. Uh-oh. Have you listened to any of Jill Scott's music? <laughs> yes, but do you know who Erica Badu is? I do. Like, but then have you listened to Jill Scott? I can say I would pick Erica Badu only because. Because I like lives. that that whole Baduism album, that live album that she did, mm-hmm. that was like that was just it for me. I can listen to that over and over and over Scott again. That microphone. Oh, when she swallowed it, <laughs> <laughs> like it was a collage. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> that was enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> but just I can sing. Though. Just Scott is. Uh, I feel like um, she brings more to the table than Erica Badu. I love and don't don't get me wrong. Next lifetime, I mean Erica Badu is my girl, right. but just got she just I don't know, I don't know. It might be because she plus size too. I don't know. I may be biased. I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love, <laughs> yeah. I love me some Erica. I mean I love me some uh, Jill Scott, but I love right. Erica Badu too. So it's it's like really hard for me to just choose one side. But Monica and Brandy definitely Monica. I'll say that. Why? Monica, because she has, she can sing. Like, she can sing on anything. You don't think Brandy King? Nah. Brandy struggled. I mean, I grew up listening to Brandy and Monica, and Brandy. Sit was, up in my room. Yeah, yep. but she's one tone. Okay. She's yeah, I think Monica tone. has, yeah, more. more Monica skin. has more range. Has a range. Can, yeah. Okay. She can probably sing anything and be good and sound good. That boy. It is. I yeah. like that song. Yeah, Brandy oh. is just like right there. You need she's right yeah. there with Tony. <laughs> like they with the under Tony Broken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They writing up under there, but Monica could be here and there, and she still sound good. Like, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll, we'll let it go. I'll let it go. What you want to say? Y'all? Nothing. 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 No, you got a lot to say. I can tell. No. I yeah. <laughs> you, you, you wanna you wanna pick Brandy over Monica? You no, know, I'm I'm still a little. Only reason I like Brandy is because she was like the only black princess we had when she did Cinderella, and, and that, that was off the yeah, chain. So it was yeah. like, besides the musical career, and then both of them, I really don't even know their whole catalog of music. Maybe like one or two songs of each, but I don't I know any of their music. That was a machine behind Brandy. Brandy had Moesha, she had <clears throat> movies, she had a Barbie doll, that Mammy. That she mama had, hers wasn't playing those yeah, games. Yeah, it was a machine behind Brandy. I don't yeah. feel like Monica had that same machine, kind of like with the, you know, with the uh, B 
Beyonce and Kelly Rowland type thing. That was a machine behind Beyonce. That's why, you know, Beyonce yeah. is who she is. But um, Monica didn't have as much as Brandy did. But when you talk about just talent, like pure talent, I feel like Monica wins. I get it. And I do like Brandy, though. I ain't going to put it down like I don't like her. I do. But Monica got 